Hey everybody, welcome back to Run and Gun. I'm JT, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Leawa Argus 0.95. And this is the Z-mount lens. It comes in Canon RF mount, Sony E-mount, and of course, the Nikon Z-mount. We're gonna be taking a look at this lens, the pros, the cons, and most importantly, how it performs. I'm gonna be showing you the photos and the videos. So stick around until the end of the video because that's the most important part of a lens is actually how it performs on your camera. So let's hop right into this review. So taking a look at the outside of the box before we look at the lens itself, again, a 0.95, which is a ridiculously wide aperture whole bunch of stats on the back of the box, which is awesome. It's obviously for full frame mirrorless, 35 millimeter lens, 14 elements in nine groups. If you're not technically savvy, that really doesn't mean anything. That just means there's 14 pieces of glass in the lens separated into nine different groups. It has a 72 millimeter filter thread. If you're gonna be putting either a polarizer or maybe a neutral density filter, if you wanna get that very shallow depth of field on a bright sunny day, and that's really about it. 15 aperture blades. And again, that aperture goes from 0.95 to F16. So that is your aperture range. Let's take a look at the actual lens itself. All right, so I have the 35 millimeter lens here mounted on my Nikon Z6. It is the Z mount. So you can see there is no adapter, it mounts directly onto the Nikon Z6. I have my Cam Rebel little cage here. This thing is awesome. And this lens is hefty. The first thing you'll notice is the box is pretty heavy and this lens is pretty heavy. It has a very sturdy build quality and I really like that. I'm not a huge fan of cheap feeling plastic lenses. This is definitely not one of those lenses. This guy is built out of some nice solid aluminum and I feel like it is very well built. On the manufacturer's website, they claim that this is the fastest 35 millimeter lens and widest 0.95 aperture lens for full frame mirrorless cameras out there. Now I'm going to assume that's true. I don't know of every single full frame mirrorless lens out there, but one of the reasons you're probably going to buy this lens obviously is for that 0.95 aperture, which is huge. You can see on here, I'll take the lens cap off that front element is absolutely huge and just a gorgeous piece of glass. And you can see how much light that this lens, put that lens cap down. You can see how much light this lens lets through to that sensor, which is awesome. So far, I've used this for some astrophotography and some time-lapse you'll see at the end of the video. I haven't used it for portraits yet. I'm so excited this weekend to take it out and use it for portraits. You'll probably see those on my Instagram soon if you follow me at Run and Gun Photo on Instagram. And I've also used this for landscape. You probably wouldn't think of landscape necessarily for a 0.95 lens, but this lens is very sharp. I happen to have it in my bag on a recent trip across Colorado. And I decided to try it out on some landscape, which I haven't seen done yet with this lens. And they turned out phenomenal, tech sharp. Another feature of this lens is the ability to turn on your aperture hard stops on and off. So I can turn on the click and there will be hard stops when I actually click the lens. So I can hard stop at F2, 1.4, 1.2 and 0.95 or if I wanna turn that off, kinda of like a cinema lens, a de-clicked lens, I can just slide right through my aperture value. So that's up to you, and I really like that feature. So let's talk a little bit about the bokeh, or the out of focus areas of your image that this lens produces. What's crazy again about this lens, and the biggest selling point is that 0.95 aperture, which is still pretty sharp, which is awesome. Most lenses are not sharp at all at their widest aperture. This does a pretty good job at 0.95. And most of the time I'm usually shooting at 1.2 or 1.4, which is still faster than most 35 millimeter lenses out there. But the bokeh is absolutely gorgeous, very soft, very creamy. And I would probably relate it to about somewhere between a 50 millimeter and not quite an 85 millimeter lens. That's kind of what the bokeh looks like, but you are getting that wider frame it almost feels like a medium format camera that has very shallow depth of field, 
but a very wide frame, which is an absolutely awesome feature of this lens. It's almost like you were getting that Brennazier effect, you know, where you take a bunch of photos, stitch them together with a telephoto lens, and you get a very wide looking photo that looks like it was shot on a very, very shallow depth of field. You get that all in one lens with this Argus 35 millimeter. Now for the price point, this lens right this second as I'm making this video runs about $899 US dollars, and that is for the Canon, the Nikon, or the Sony mount. And all around, I really love this lens. There are so many pros to it, the sharpness, the wide aperture, the solid build quality. I definitely recommend it. One of the few cons is maybe just the weight, but again, that is what comes with a very solid build quality made out of hardy aluminum so that if you bump it or do something, you know, minor damage to it, it's not going to affect the internal elements of the lens, which is the most important part. Unfortunately, the last time I traveled with this lens, TSA took my bag apart and they put a little dent on top of the lens, which is not a big deal because this lens is very solid. That dent is very minor right there in the focusing ring. It probably would have done a lot more damage if it was made out of cheap plastic, but the lens works just fine. Again, I attribute that to the solid build quality of this lens. So I don't want to make you wait any longer. Let's take a look at the photos and the videos from this lens. Super sharp, super shallow depth of field, and I will let you be the judge of the quality for yourself. So that is my review of the Leawa Argus 35mm 0.95 aperture lens. It is a blast to play with and I'd like to reiterate it is not an autofocus lens. It is a manual focus with extremely smooth focus which I absolutely love. The focus ring is very well lubricated and very tight to focus so you don't have to worry about your focus slipping at all when you're shooting. And one of the things I actually do like about having a manual focus lens it slows you down. It makes you think about your focus, your framing, your composition, the individual photo that you're taking instead of having an autofocus and just spraying and praying and hoping that you get an image. This lens really makes you stop, think, focus, compose your image and take that one good shot instead of 10 bad shots and hope one turns out. So love this lens. It's a blast to play with keep it in my camera bag all the time. I love shooting primes and I definitely recommend you pick this lens up if you're looking for an awesome portrait lens, an astrophotography lens, or even a landscape lens. So if you found this video helpful, hit that like button at the bottom of this video. Check out the links to the lens down in the description. And as always, subscribe for more running gun videos. And until next time, get out and go shoot.